Well, in northern Alaska, the sun has set with no dawn emerging until January. Today, people who live in northern Alaska, they have to journey through their first full day of polar night. Meteorologist Craig Carrera joining us now to help us through these very dark times. Oh, man, I'm telling you what, this is a, I don't know how they do it, Stephen. I don't either, but you were in Seattle for a well, time, and it also is dark for a long time. I'm telling Seattle. you, that's why. I lived in Seattle for three years, and I came from Southern California. I moved from yeah. L.A. to Seattle, so that's a contrast. And I moved there right at the beginning of winter. Ooh. We had 82, 83 days where it was mostly cloudy. I don't think they have many sun breaks at all. One of the, one of the darkest winters on record. If you don't get sunlight, my friends, there is such a thing called SAD, seasonal effectiveness disorder. And I'm a pretty happy guy. It was a tough go. Don't get me wrong, I love Seattle. Let's talk about that. Utyanpig, the northernmost city in the United States, in Alaska, is not gonna get that sunshine for at least another 64 days. This is now what we call the polar nights, Alaska's polar night, rather. Uh, and that's because they're just north of the Arctic Circle. You see the Arctic Circle there. They're well within that. And this is all due to the Earth's tilt, right? So here we go. We've started this, and they're gonna be below the horizon at least until late January. No direct sunlight. There's a little bit of hope, though. They've got a period at times where they'll get a little bit of twilight, and that gives you a little bit of dim light, if you will. So watching that closely for the next several uh, months, and people are like, man, how do you do it? To Stephen's point, people are losing light all across the lower 48 as well. In fact, as we look ahead to the amount of moisture that we've lost, or sunlight that we've lost, rather, that sunlight has continued to be a story for us that we're losing that, especially for the northern tier. So for the month of November, we've already lost about 70 minutes of daylight for the northern tier. The southern tier, about 30 minutes of daylight. Oftentimes, people are like, oh, the days are getting shorter. Well, they're not really getting shorter. It's just that you don't have as much sunlight, right? The days are still the same. You still have the same amount of time in a day. Uh, when we look at the winter ahead, look at the amount of daylight that we start to lose with the sun going down earlier, coming up later. It's dark. You're like, man, where's the sun? You wake up in the morning, you're waiting for it. The northern tier will lose three to four hours from the Pacific Northwest all the way across portions of the Midwest, clear over into the New England area as well, and about one to two hours for the southern tier. So when we talk about this, uh, you know, it's a lot of daylight that we lose, Stephen. The north, as we talked about, not much in the way of sunshine at all. Mm -hmm. Different story somewhere else, though, I guess, huh? I, I mean, it's, it's <laughs> crazy that you're always eight hours, though. But yeah. yeah. And then from latitude, you're right. Ten and a half hours down in Miami, it's um, it's better than eight, I guess. Any, That's for any sure. Hour, hour matters. But yeah, you, uh, you know we're about to talk about because the northern yeah. hemisphere is losing daylight. The other half of our giant blueberry, it's uh, gaining daylight, the Sunglasses. Arctic Circle. Plunges into polar night. The Antarctic Circle gets the opposite, and that's where we head to now. It's not called polar night. Any uh, guesses what it's called? What's the opposite of night? Day. Day. Polar day. <laughs> Correct. It's also known as the midnight sun. This time of year, it's the South Pole that gets the midnight sun. You're looking at an image of McMurdo Station. Uh, McMurdo is America's main facility for studying Antarctica. The sun is up. And McMurdo Station is close enough to the South Pole, it's about a thousand miles away, that the sun rises starting on the equinox in September, and the sun reaches its zenith, the highest point in the sky, on the solstice in December. So December 21st, which, as we know in the Southern Hemisphere, that's the, the summer solstice, but here in the Northern Hemisphere, that is the, the winter solstice. It will, in Antarctica, set on March 21st, which is the equinox. And so until then, we've got 24 hours of daylight. <laughs> it's, wow. it's great, I guess. But I guess the midnight sun is, is better than, than polar night. I, 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 it can also be disruptive to this. I was say, how do you sleep? You've got some seriously, like, blackout curtains, I guess, right? Yeah. This is a game that we play almost every night in my family, Would You Rather? Now, uh -huh. at home, my boys get real gross, okay? And it's real <laughs> tough. But would you rather the full day or the full night? Yeah. I'm, I know what I'd want. How about you, Steven? I, I, are you a full day guy? In this case, yeah. I, yeah. I think I am, too. Can we... Yeah. I just want to fix our stinking clocks. Can we just, like, make a Agreed. decision on not changing an stay hour? Stay or not stay. Uh, yeah. Keep like, it let's consistent. make that decision. Arizona and Hawaii did it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And honestly, let's just do standard time. I think that's my bias. Where we're at right yeah. now, I prefer yeah. this. I prefer yeah. this. I know it gets, it's, it gets dark early, yeah. but in the summer, it's worth it in the Northern Hemisphere because... You know, we have a decently late sunset. It really so. messes with your body. Yeah, you? I agree. Gosh. I think I'm still healing. 
Yeah, same from, here. From our time change. How and when we spring ago? forward, forget about it. That <laughs> takes me forever. Yeah. Life is a journey. Craig Herrera, thank <laughs> you. To see you. Polar night, but we also have polar day. You got to balance it out. Yeah. You got to balance it out. It's all about balance, folks. <laughs> all right, Craig, thank you. We are